Hello pen friends, welcome back to the channel. It is wonderful to have you here. If you are new, welcome. Today we are jumping back into my fountain pen and ink journal. We are doing my fall currently inked. If you're curious to know what I've got inked up, keep watching. Welcome back my pen friends. We are doing our fall currently inked and I am so loving these pen and ink combinations. It is giving me autumn vibes and warm and cozy vibes and I am here for it. Some of these pens might be new to you, some of them you've just seen the unboxings of. If you are wanting to see all of the pens in my collection, head on over to TikTok and you can see everything I have opened so far. I unbox every pen and ink immediately and open it, swatch it, and do a writing sample with it over there so if you are desperate to know what's in my collection you can find out after this video if you are new to my channel um every quarter i tend to swap out my planners update my notebooks and i change out my pen my fountain pens the pens that i'm using and the inks that are in them and to keep track of what's in what for right now um, also for to look back on for future reference and see what combinations I've used, I'm keeping a log of each quarter when I re-ink up my pens and change things up a little bit, that's what this is. The first pen and ink combination is my Moonman C1. This is in a medium nib and I have it inked up with Diamond Infernal Orange. If you caught my orange color study linked here, you can check out all of the different oranges I tried out. This one was by far the most beautiful pumpkin orange and the fact that it has this incredible electric shimmer just sold it for me. Like there was, there were no other contenders once I saw the sun hit the page. Next up we have a, this is a very new acquisition. Um, this is the Edelstein Golden Barrel Ink. It came in a set, a box set with the Pelican Gold Demonstrator. So it is a wonderful combination. It's a beautiful pen and an absolutely glorious ink. It's this really rich gold color and it has an incredible shimmer. I refer to it as liquid gold because I can't think of a better description for it. And as we're getting into autumn, with all the reds and oranges and golds and dark greens, I'm just, I'm loving it. I'm here for it. So this is the demonstrator pendant. This is the Pelican M200 in a medium nib. Look at the shimmer in this body. And I'm not just talking about the ink, but the resin itself has glimmer baked into it. It's so beautiful. There will be an unboxing of this video coming out on the channel, but with the holidays coming up, it's probably not going to come out till the new year, but it's coming, I promise. The next ink is the Diamond 2022 Inkvent Calendar Olive Swirl. This is sort of an olive green with a blue-green shimmer, and I have that inked in my Le Bon Antique pen and I'm loving this combination. The weight of this pen is so, so comforting in my hand. The writing experience is so smooth and glorious, and this ink in it, it's just, it fits the vibe so well with that sort of vintage look and copper feel and look to the pen, having that sort of more earthy, olive, rusty green just works so beautifully with it. I'm I'm, I'm in love with this pairing. This one was kind of taken a chance. This is the first time I've actually inked up a Vinta ink. I really wanted to use my Le Bon Rosa because fall is this transitional stage, this transitional period in the seasons. And it's sort of, I don't know, I liked the idea of this. It's sort of the lavenders and the greens, the leaves falling, the plants are falling. 
but we're also starting to get into the winter where there's some frostiness in the air. So I thought this was sort of this lovely transitional, a bit of the summer with the purple flowers, a bit of the winter with the frosty color, but also these very much these earth tones. And I just really wanted to try one of these chroma shaders actually inked in a pen, not just in a dip pen. I love this color in this pen because it really has this blue, green, purple chroma shading in the ink, in the swatch that I had. And I thought it was a perfect because all of the colors were exactly the colors in my Le Bon Rosa. This is another one of those chroma shaders. This is the Sailor Studio Ink 123. It's a purple ink, but it has this blue and pink sort of chroma shading in it. It's really, really beautiful. I wanted to put something in this ink that really reflected the pen it's in. Um, I do have a color study for purple coming out next month but I've, I've already done it. Uh, as I'm moving, I'm kind of trying to get a bunch of videos up on the channel. So I've already done the exploration of this ink and the unboxing is also coming out, coming up soon. But I really love how all of the colors reflect in this. I've been using this in my journal as well. And man, it is just beautiful. All of those different colors really come out in the pen strokes just writing in my journal. It's really quite lovely. I'm thoroughly enjoying this combination as well. Then again, we have the Diamond Writer's Blood in my Twisby Diamond 580 in rose gold. Um, there is so much ink in this body. It's probably going to live in this pen for a very long time. I honestly don't think this is going to get used up anytime soon, so you'll probably see this pop up for many months to come. Now, this one is a new one. This is Jacques Orban Rouge Garnet, and it's in my Caveco AL Sport in Ruby. This is a Caveco Collections, so usually their red has the silver accents, and this one has the gold accents. I'm not enjoying the Caveco in a fine nib. At first, I really enjoyed it. I think I just got really lucky with the first pen I got. It's also, you can see it on the table here and we'll be getting to it in a minute. That purple one was my first Caveco and it was in a fine nib, but it was a really juicy nib. So I might have to do a little bit of fiddling with this one to have it be a little less dry, or I might just have to change this out for a medium nib. One of the things I love about the Cavecos is just how smooth a writer they are and how juicy a nib it is but this one is like it's not as it is not as much fun to write with as my other Quebecos and that's disappointing so I'm thinking there's a lot of room for error when it comes to crafting each nib even within one brand and I think this is just one of those things where it's just a little finer than I prefer even in a fine nib so I might switch this out for a medium nib I really was wanting to try everything from extra fine to double broad in my in a Caveco, just to sort of really explore the different nib options. I've really kind of landed on medium is my comfort zone. It's what I like. I don't need a super meticulous fine tip. I don't mind using making broader strokes, and I do love to use shimmery shaded sheening inks and those just clog up the works with anything less than a medium. But this is a lovely red ink. It's, it's a standard ink, but it's a true red as opposed to writer's blood, which is, I don't know, almost a little purple in comparison. This is another one that is going to be inked for a while because I put so much ink in the cartridge. This is the Birmingham Pen Co quantum teal in my Estherbrook SD in blue. It is a lovely pairing. This is my favorite ink in this pen. I wish the ink was more blue, so I might have to check out some other Birmingham inks that might have more blue tones to them, but this pairing makes my Estherbrook so smooth, and I love a smooth writer. I almost didn't bother swatching this page because the rest of these are carryovers from last month, but I just love them so much. This is Ferris Wheel Press Tears of Sapphire, and this is in my Le Bon Celebration in Oyster Shell Blue. It is a medium nib. 
and again this is a lovely teal color with a shimmer and a red sheen it is a delightful ink it is so much fun. And then my last one is the Ferris Wheel Press Magical Metropolis, and that is in my Caveco AL Sport in a fine nib. This one has been inked since I got this pen. Everyone said the Caveco Sport converters were so small, go through ink too quickly. I have not found that to be the case. Because I heard all of that, this pen, I actually used the cartridge that came with the pen, and then when that was done, I filled it up with this ink, and I have been using it for ages. A very, very, very long time but I do love it. I use this for one of my characters in my stories. Now that the ink is dry, let's take a look at these in the sun. We have Diamine's Writer's Blood, and that has a really lovely sort of gold sheen to it. The Jacques Urban Rouge Granite is sort of, like I said, it's a lovely standard ink. Got some beautiful shading to it. That Birmingham Pen Co. in Quantum Teal has that beautiful teal color with that deep red sheen ferris wheel press and tears of sapphire again that beautiful blue with with a blue shimmer and a red sheen magical metropolis that has i don't even know what color that is i guess it's like a gold sheen but it's just lovely all of these write so smooth really really enjoyable and then right up at the top we have our diamine inferno orange which is this lovely happy orange but the kicker on this one is look at how the light hits that it's just covered in shimmer every stroke of the pen is just glowing then we have the edelstein golden barrel with the pelican m200 and oh, again liquid gold it is gorgeous i love it The Diamine Olive Swirl in the Le Bon Antique. Again, that green sparkle with that really lovely olive green color. And then the Vinta Ibid is this just beautiful sort of pale mossy green blue color with a lovely green shimmer to it. And our Sailor, Sailor Studios 123 is just a beautiful shading ink with that chroma shading. And that is my Autumn Currently Inked. I love these combinations. I have been having so much fun using them in my Hobonichi Cousin daily journal, just being able to play with the different combinations of inks and having those inks really stand out as the showstoppers in that. It's been a lot of fun to play with and explore. So what do you currently have inked, my friends? What are What is your fall lineup? And how are you liking them? Of everything I've got swatched here, what pen is your favorite? What ink do you most enjoy? Drop it all down in the comments below. Let's get chatting. Let's start talking about all things ink and paper. If you want to see more content from me, you can follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Patreon. If you want to have a deeper discussion in real time with me and other pen friends and stationary enthusiasts, you can check out the Discord channel, which is also linked in the description box below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts down below. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one, my friends. Bye, guys!